India, Canada, Scotland, South Africa and Australia represented in this one. And the top qualifier is actually going up last, Shannon Archer. So a chance for Scotland to achieve a rare gold here. She was fifth uh, on the Gold Coast four years ago. And quite a number of the field actually backing up. Five of them were in that final in 2018. Representing India, Pranati Naya. Now across to the vaults was eighth in the final four years ago, Pranati Naya. Soup double. 5.2 difficulty, that's uh, worth more than the Ushenko double twist just because of the difficulty to get the rotation from the half-on entry as opposed to the Yushchenko or round-off. We'll see two different bolts from the women. They need a different entry onto the horse, so we see this one's a half-on entry, so the next bolt can't be that same one. And also, they'll need a different post flight. So here we see what the judges will be picking up on. The leg form, They're looking at the body position, and of course the twist being completed perfectly square onto the horse. What she gains from the more difficult tariff, she's losing a little bit in the form. So it is a balancing act. 27-year-old uh, from West Bengal. Got some Commonwealth Games experience now. 2014 and 2018. Also attended the Asian Games 2018 in Indonesia. Occasionally comment on how certain nations are drawn to certain apparatus. Uh, Indian athletes certainly like the vault. 13, 6, 3, 3 in. Second vault will be scored, and the two vaults averaged to give her the telling score. Spring front, tucked, Salto with a full twist forward. Don't see too many of those, they're quite difficult to perform. Good repulsion. Here's the all around champion, Georgia Godwin. Does she have the required vaults to feature here, Liz? I think she does. She was close to the top before really only a few tenths behind so it'll be all in the landing she's got the difficulty i believe strong one and a half good length good height and maybe the confidence from the all-around victory has just let her relax and enjoy herself She's got all the elegance and the skills, but as we like to say at home, she's a tough cookie. She is. And, which just means she's got resilience. And that's what you need in this sport, along with all the required elegance well, and grace. That's right. Well, considering she had double, double ankle surgery last November, and then she's had some ups and downs getting ready for Commonwealth Games, and you know, even thought, is this, is this really going to happen for me? But here she is, performing so brilliantly. And going for the pike front, half out. It's bounced a little out of the landing, but two good vaults from Georgia Godwin, who was sixth in the vault in the Gold Coast four years ago, close to a birthplace of Southport, southeast Queensland. Good height. How close can she get? 13, 2, 3, 3. She's into top spot. 
and assured of a medal. Well, interestingly, so same score as Laurie Demony, but on the tiebreaker rules. And they had to split them with a tiebreak, Georgia Godwin and Laura Denome, both on 13 2 3 3. And Shannon Archer, that historic first medal for Scotland in the women's artistic gymnastics with a 13 0 8 3. And just ahead of Emma Spence, then Panati Nayak of India, Scotland's Kara Kennedy, Navin Dharis, and Emily Whitehead. So two fine finals.